Now, we know that logging, clearing and burning destroys rainforests. So the researcher here wants to see how logging affects the uh, rainforest, how it destroys the rainforest. So what the researcher does is takes 12 different plots. So the sample size here is 12. 12 different plots that are unlogged and nine different plots that are logged. And in each of these uh, samples, what is measured is X, that is the number of tree species. The number of tree species is going to tell us the effect of logging in rainforests. That's how we're going to measure it. So, so far it must be clear to you that there are two independent samples. So clearly this is a two sample procedure that needs to be used in this case. Now we keep reading the question. If you read it carefully, you'll see that we're going to estimate the difference in the mean number of species between unlogged and logged plots. So we're going to estimate the difference. And to estimate the difference, as we've seen before, we're going to construct a confidence interval. So just by reading the question, we know a lot already. So the first thing we need to do in problem solving is to make a clear statement about what exactly we're going to do in this problem. So the statement should read, we'll estimate the difference in the mean. So this is important. When we do a two sample procedure, we calculate the difference in the mean number of species in the unlogged plots and the mean number of species in the logged plots. So we have to find two different means and then find the difference. And that's the estimate that we're going to make in this particular problem. Now the next step to solving the problem in our four step process is formulate. Now what exactly is formulate? Now you're thinking through exactly which method you're going to use. So, and you need to uh, briefly state what you're thinking. So the first thing is, since this problem has two independent samples, so first thing is to identify what type of problem it is. So it is a two sample problem, so two independent sample problem, clearly. So we'll use the two independent sample procedure to construct a confidence interval using the formula. So when we write down the formulate uh, portion of the four-step process, it's Im important to write down the formula because that is... So when we look at this formula, it tells us exactly what we need to solve the problem. What are the numbers that we need? We need a T star, we need the means of the two uh, samples, we need the standard deviations of the two samples, and we need the sample sizes of the two samples. Now here you'd have to use your calculator. Since we're given the raw data, we need to find uh, all these numbers, so we have to use our calculators to find the mean and standard deviation of each sample. Uh, if you have forgotten how to use your calculator, refer to the instructions uh, that I've posted earlier. Make sure you know how to use your calculator because uh, on the test uh, you'll have to use your calculators to figure out these numbers. You will not have access to crunch it. So the formula basically uh, says that we need to know certain numbers. And what are the numbers that we need to know? The sample sizes of the two uh, samples, the means of the two samples, and the standard deviations of the two samples. So I've put it in the form of a table so that way uh, it's easy to plug in the numbers, it's easy to identify the numbers. So using our calculators, we find the two means and the two standard deviations of the two samples. To find the confidence interval, we need to set the confidence level just as we did before in chapters 14 and 17. 
So let's just say we picked a 90% confidence level. Now in order to find the T star that we need in this formula, we need to know the degrees of freedom. Now let's figure out the degrees of freedom for each sample. So the first sample of unlogged, the degrees of freedom is 11. And the second sample of unlogged, oh I'm sorry, the second sample of logged, we find the degrees of freedom. The first one is 12 minus 1, so it's 1 less than the sample size, and that's the degrees of freedom for the unlogged. And 1 less than the sample size of 9, which is equal to 8, is the degrees of freedom for the second sample of the logged plots. The smaller of the two numbers is the sample size or the degrees of freedom that we use for this particular problem. We set the confidence level to 90%. We use table C with a confidence level of 90% and degrees of freedom 8. So we're looking at the 8th row. We figure out T star. So T star for this particular problem is 1.860. So when we are solving, all we have to do is plug in these numbers. Now in this case, you have to be a little careful when you use your calculator. Make sure you're using parentheses. First, figure out the difference in the means. I've specifically taken x u, x bar u minus x bar of L, which is logged. So we get the difference in the unlogged and the logged. So we know this is going to be a positive number because we're expecting the number of species in the logged area to be less than the number of species in the unlogged area just because uh, the forest has been destroyed so that would result in a reduction of the number of uh, species in the in the logged area the t star comes from the uh, from table c where we are using uh, a confidence level of 90% and degrees of freedom 8 the calculator gives us S1 and S2, so we square it and divide by 12, square the second and divide by 9. We can plug in all these numbers, which gives us the margin of error, into the calculator. And we, if we are careful with the parentheses, notice that I've added the parentheses here. Um, just use the parentheses, either the calculator will come up with the parentheses, you just have to remember to close the parentheses, or if your calculator doesn't start off with the parentheses, make sure you put the parentheses, open it, and then close it at the end. If you enter your numbers exactly the way you see it here, you get 3.37. You have to enter them all together, hit the enter button just once to get 3.37. Try not to do it in separate parts because each time if you're rounding it then uh, the resulting number may be a little off so just enter all the numbers together and hit the enter button once calculate the difference in the means of the two samples separately so we have the difference in the means plus or minus the margin of error so we do the calculations we subtract the margin of error we add the margin of error, giving us a range of values from 0 0.46, which is the smaller number, to 7.1. So basically what we have so far is the difference in the means of the unlogged and the logged lies between 0.46 and 7.1. So we've got a range of values that estimate uh, that estimates the difference in the means. So use the word difference first and then in the means because we have two separate means so it's the difference in the means that our confidence interval um, estimates. So finally we make a conclusion. Just like we did in chapters 14 and 17 we start off with the confidence level. So with 90 percent confidence we can say that the difference in the mean number of species in the logged plots 
and the mean number of species in the unlogged plots lies between 4. Point, I'm sorry, 0.46 and 7.1. So that concludes our uh, problem with the four-step process.